Hey guys, I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Charleston White admitting to selling out for fame. Let's get right into it. Yesterday, I dropped a video on the dark truth about Charleston White, where I explained that Charleston appears to be an agent of chaos. I explained how Charleston on some occasions has very good points regarding the influence hip-hop has on the urban city youth. Charleston is also known to advocate against street culture and has spoken out against it. In my last video, I also stated that I agree with his view on drill music when it comes to the rappers dissing the fallen ops. Like I've said many times before, drill music is death music and all it spreads is destruction. Charleston has made similar points to the ones I've made in the past and when I first came across him, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt as I felt we were on the same side. But after researching into Charleston, I realized he wasn't who he seems to be. The first red flag for me was his delivery of his message. For someone who claims to want to help the community, Charleston does a whole lot of talking down and disrespecting people of those very communities. Charleston has made an online career of taunting those who live by the street life. He has realized the more disrespectful he gets, the more attention he receives because he knows people love negativity and negativity sells. Charleston has discovered the formula to get attention online, and like M.I. said in the last podcast video, it's by acting like 6ix9ine. Charleston trolls gangsters and kids from the hoods, being as disrespectful as possible, knowing he's going to go viral for it. He doesn't disrespect people in hopes of teaching them or guiding them, he does it in hopes of getting clout and money. This is something he states out of his own mouth on many occasions. According to Charleston himself, he is playing a character that he knows is going to spark controversy. He knows that if he disrespects and taunts certain people, the internet would give him a reaction which turns into money. In this clip, he talks about how much money his videos make him. I often speak about, you know, your past, you being financially up and down at times. Yeah. Would you say 2021, you know, financially? I made more money. Than, I, I made more money than I've ever seen before in my life. Thought I was a, they thought I was a one-hit wonder. Uh, they thought I was a viral sensation for the moment. Uh, they thought I was a guy who 15 minutes of fame wasn't going to last long. I figured out that I could last a, a long time on the internet trying to make people hate me, trying to make people hate me. You, you, you'll run out of people to like you. You can never run out of people to hate you. Uh, I'm the villain. Yeah, I'm the villain in every move. Uh, eventually, you, you end up loving the villain. Uh, he, he's a necessary evil. Uh, he's the balance. They didn't know I came with a plan. I, I, I came with a, a, a plan that I didn't know could work or would work. I just saw that it was effective. So once I realized that you can trademark something that's trendy, uh, Charleston became a business. I, mean, I promise I done made over $2 million. I promise, homie, in the last- I, b I believe it. In the last two it. years, from, you told me, man, you're gonna be a millionaire, homie. There's $2 million from- As you heard for yourself, Charleston openly brags about the thousands of dollars he makes off his trolling content. He's bragging on many occasions, even calling people poor and broke. In this clip here, Charleston not only admits he is playing a character, fooling his audience, but he also states that his audience is stupid and that he doesn't even care about black people like he pretends to do online. Out of movie Dolomite, I told- what I'm doing, man. I don't mean half I say. I, everything I say, they don't know I'm playing like a motherfucker. Oh man, they don't know they being macked on. Yeah, yeah. They they, they they think they think I they think I'm think I mean everything I say. They don't know I'm playing like a mother. I came to the internet, thought I was blowing my cover by telling nigga, man, I'm playing a character. Nigga. I saw the movie Dolomite. I told nigga what I'm doing, man. I don't mean half. I say, I don't even love black people the way I talk about I love black people. I say, I don't even love black people the way I talk about I love black people. I said, man, let me keep playing on these dumb ass internet. <laughs> As you heard for yourself, Charleston openly admits he is deceiving his own people just for attention. He admits that this whole online persona is fake and that he doesn't even care about the things he talks about. In my podcast episode, I saw a lot of people mention Charleston is doing community work and how he's truly about helping the community. Doing community work is definitely a good thing, but we must remember just because a person does community work or donates to charity doesn't mean it erase everything else they're doing. We must remember that Freemasons hide behind community work as well. The billionaires and the most corrupt people in our world donate to charity every year just for the good publicity, but they do it with a hidden agenda. The Masons donate to charity and hold community events, but in the dark, they perform Masonic rituals and are cultists. The Masons claim to be a good organization that betters man, all while having a hidden agenda to guide the masses to the new world order. 
Charleston claims to be about helping the community and pointing out the hypocrisy in hip-hop, but he also has a hidden agenda of going viral and making money from the controversial comments he makes online. What Charleston does online affects more people than what he claims to do in his community. His online persona is what people are consuming every day. Just like the rappers, Charleston is pretending to be someone he is not for the sake of attention in hopes of making money. What he does online influences more people and it's the message he is putting out to the masses. Just like the rappers he talks about, Charleston is disrespecting people that are no longer here. And just like the rappers, he is selling out for money and attention. Charleston, just like those very rappers he openly disrespects, has sold his soul in order to have the world, and he admits this himself. Whatever Oprah Winfrey did to get in, I want in. Whatever Michael Jordan had to do to be quiet, I want to do that too. I'm willing to sell my soul today after this coming show. I'm willing to sell my soul today. I want in, y'all. I'm gonna do everything these people ask me to do against black people. I'm gonna do it. If it takes telling, I'm gonna take As you heard for yourself, Charleston openly admits he was going to sell his soul. He admits he's willing to do anything against his own people so he can have the world. He can't be more open than this. What more proof is needed to prove this man is an agent of chaos? Charleston admits to selling his soul, and it's no coincidence the biggest platforms are now interviewing him and talking about him on a regular basis. He is a part of the agenda, and he is being used to divide the people. I was honestly surprised on how many people choose to oversee the negative he is doing because they liked how he bullied rappers. Even though the video received a good like to dislike ratio, with more than 90% of people liking the video and agreeing with my evidence, the 10% that didn't were furious in the comments, telling me that I am wrong about Charleston and that I should take a second look at him. Well, I have already taken a second look into him, and it's the reason why I made that podcast episode. But I decided to take a third look into him, and this is why I made this video today. And I am even more confident in my belief that Charleston is a sellout. Now, I want to respond to some of the respectful comments from yesterday that disagree with my point of view, as I understand where some of you are coming from. This comment by Rated R914 said I should have done more research on Charleston and claimed that I was reaching. Well, I researched him for about four days and watched tons of his live streams and honestly, he was so disrespectful in most of them, I couldn't even show them on this video. The next comment I want to respond to was one by Mary Drew. Mary claims that Charleston has to be disrespectful in order to reach the people he is trying to reach. She claims that with these type of people, Charleston needs to act out in order to reach the masses. She also claims that the people that Charleston is trying to reach don't like to be talked like babies and that his antics help him relate to them. Well, Mary, I see what you're trying to stay with this comment, but this is simply not true. Charleston is not at all trying to get through to these people. He is trying to bait a reaction for attention. He admits this himself. Charleston isn't convincing any of these people to leave the streets. He just makes them angry on live so they can threaten him and Charleston then responds by saying he's gonna call the cops on them. He brags about putting people in jail that he himself taunts and he knows it's gonna go viral and like he said, make him thousands of dollars. The last comment I'm gonna respond to is this one by It's Styles, as all the rest of the comments are pretty much the same comment over and over again. According to It's Styles, Charleston White is needed for the black community. The thing is, how is he so needed for the black community if he's wishing destruction on them, stating that he doesn't even really care about them, and that what he does online is all an act for attention and money? I say, I don't even love black people the way I talk about I love black people. Charleston doesn't care about any community. He cares about his pockets. He is receiving the most fame and money he has ever had in his entire life. This is why he continues to do what he does. Before I end this video, I want all my subscribers to know, I don't care if the truth hurts or is unpleasant. My job is to present that truth. Whether some of you guys dislike me for it or unsub, I respect your decision. Just know that I still want the best for you and I will continue to pray for you all. Even though Charleston speaks some truth, his true intentions show, and to me, this proves he can't be trusted. Like I always say, we must remember that every day we wake up, our souls are at stake. And we also must remember to help those who can't see the truth, find the truth. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I just want to give a special shout out to the Truth Movement members. I truly appreciate every single one of you. If you'd like to further support the channel, join the Truth Movement, or you can join me on Patreon where I drop exclusive videos monthly. The link would be in the description. Another way you can further support the channel is by checking out the Truth Fist store and seeing if you find anything you like. Every purchase you make goes directly to helping the channel and furthering Truth Records. 
Also, please leave a comment on your thoughts below and on any future topics you would like to see me cover on my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop new videos. If you like this video, please leave a like as it helps other people find these videos. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram and follow me there for more truth. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.